multi-talented. She's a seamstress, class cleaner, she's a streamer, she's a lady with many pets, 10 cats apparently, with four guinea pigs and two dogs, so that's 16 animals in total. And then we have a photographer. His portfolio is expansive. He has been doing all kinds of photo shoots with many models out there. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let us welcome Ying Zhu and Preston Les to the stage! I like how Preston is very gentleman, but assisting Ying Zhu up on stage. Please have a seat, please have a seat. Hello everyone, joining us here on the stage, we have Ying Zi and Preston Les. Hello! Okay, you guys are seated, all comfy? Okay, let me adjust my thing. Preston, all okay? How about your mic, Preston? All okay? Alright, so, before we kickstart our interview session for today, can we have an introduction for the both of you? For our audience here who may not know who you are, can you tell us more about yourself? I'm shy. Oh, it's alright, it's alright. Gentlemen, go first. Hi, my name is Preston. Um, I'm a photographer and I'm quite new to the cosplay. And this is my first time to be on an CG event. So, yeah, my first time on a CG event uh, on the stage. So it's quite nervous. <laughs> yeah. No worries. It we chill, we relax, we enjoy, just like our mama sessions. Like, imagine this is mama, it's not pavilion stage, but yeah, we are just having a fun and chill session with everyone here. Yeah, thank you so much. And um, you too, what about you? I know you're shy, it's okay, you take it slowly. All right, hello everyone, my name is Ying Zi. So I'm actually a cosplayer from Kota Kinabalu, Sabah. Oh, the Sarawak, Sarawak and Sabah. Amazing! We have amazing cosplayers here today. Saku Malaysia, guys. And he's from Penang. Wow! Oh. Penang, Sarawak, Sabah. Wow! Saku Malaysia, really. Okay, we are going to ask about food questions later. You're not running away. Okay. I'm <laughs> very nervous. Actually, um, it has been two years, you know, since the pandemic started. So, uh, this is my first uh, event as a guest here in two years. So first time appearance at Pavilion KL. Yeah. Oh, that's and um, we are very honored to be here. So mm -hmm. thank you very much, Anima Daki and uh, as well as Pavilion for having us here. And this is Preston's first time appearing on stage as an AC guest, right? Yeah, this is my first time and uh, I really don't know what to do. No worries, we are here to guide you. It's alright, the veterans are here to guide you. But thank you so much for joining us on stage. Thank you so much. So as per the flow we have just now, we are going to have some Q&A session and then afterwards, we are going to play some social game. Ah, I'm going to ask you some questions, you're going to tell me something and you're going to tell it to the audience. And afterwards, we are going to have a wild card question and we are going to wrap up the entire session with one final question. Okay? Ready? Ah, guys, no worries. We stay busy today. Ah. Alright, let me start out with a question with Yun Zi. Okay, Yun Zi. I've introduced you just now as a model, as a seamstress, as a streamer, cosplayer, and then you are a mother of many animals. Yeah, you, you are women, multi-talented women with many things on your plate, you see? So I would like to ask you, how do you balance your work and life situation when you're doing so much? Actually, to be honest, I don't think that I am multi-talented. <laughs> Huh? You should always be proud of yourself. No, 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 no. I would say that I'm quite lucky, you know. Um, I've been cosplaying since uh, 2005, you know, and uh, it has been a really long time. 2005, I 2000. Okay, my math sucks. <laughs> like, my math sucks, but that's like more than 15 years, am I right? Yes, yeah, correct. Yo, very long time. Anime games. Uh, has been my passion since I was really young. And then uh, cosplay came later after I discovered cosplay. And I'm really happy that the passion actually lasts so long. You get what I mean? You know, sometimes we. Because sometimes burn out. Yeah, burn out and then you start to like do something else. But 
uh, for me, cosplay is something that I'm very passionate about since young. And I'm very lucky to have opportunity to make this into a career. You know, yeah, so lucky, la, not money the Lucky to have people like everyone here who is willing to support me and my cosplay. Yeah. yeah, you can say it's love, but it's your ability that you seize the art that make it an opportunity. That's amazing. And you've been going on for so long. Like, okay, my math really sucks, so that's like, yeah, it's definitely more than 15 years. That's really long. Yes, the career it started in 2012. Ah, yeah. It was a hobby, you know, like, a Taylor Hall yeah, yeah, yeah. How does it feel to have it turned? from a hobby that you enjoy with passion and love to your career. It, it is something that I would have never imagined. Like if you would tell your parents that, uh, oh, I'm going to do cosplay, you know, be cosplayer as, you know, my job. I mean, it's uh, something not imaginable, you know. But nowadays, uh, because of social media and uh, a lot of other stuff, right, it's not like last time, everyone has a chance to shine, you know, like TikTok. Huh? Yeah. Now everyone can be TikTok famous as long as you're willing to put in effort to make the content. Yeah, you get to, you do the work, do the right, and you can go out and try. Oh, that's amazing. That's a very good mindset, you know, to go on all with hard work and perseverance. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing your perspective with us. And really, you have been cosplaying for so long. I always remember you in the sea. I've seen you, seen you since back then, and here we are on this day. Thank you so much. And I'm going to move on from Yin Zi, going on to the next question to Preston. Hello, Preston. Hello. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. No worries, no worries. <laughs> we chose to get uh, agile or we have some fun. Uh, all right, because actually prior to you being a cosplayer and sitting on this stage with us at Yin Zi, I believe many people know you with your skill photographing uh, expertise. So can you tell us more about your process? Because as a photographer, you have a wide range of portfolios. I've seen your works on the website, and Facebook, and your social media platforms. You have so many different kinds of styles, different kind of uh, models. So can you tell us, how do you plan the process? All right, uh, when I first entered into the photograph field, right, I wasn't really into the, I, I wasn't really like, like to take photos. Like I just see my friend having a big camera and oh, that's quite cool. So when I go it, I feel like this is something that, uh, that catch my passion, you know? Like something when you see a small puppy, oh, it's very cute, I want to have it. So uh, when, after that, uh, I will just self-learning, self-talk. Uh, from the Google, YouTube, you know, just learn everything. And I keep on challenge myself to try every kind of photography. It's like portrait, put, uh, event, and product. And when I met it, uh, there's another channel. This is, I think, the most challenge in my life through my career. This is, uh, not, not your oh, 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 I hear the couple talk right here. <laughs> it's like, Challenging. Yeah, it's like, I need to, for cosplay photography, right, it's like something that I merge my skill from fashion photography to lighting and props, you know, cosplay is like something sophisticated and you need a lot of setup to make it look nice and also like LED lights, neon lights. So when I met her, I feel like, okay, that's another thing for me to learn. So I plan it and I sit online. I actually didn't go for any classes, you know, like, I, I always people like my students ask me like how do I learn photography? I say you can actually ask a Mr. Google. You know? <laughs> Mr. Google or YouTube, you can actually learn a lot of things from there. So yeah, this process is like uh, you need to go through a way to find what you really love for photography. So I'm, I'm glad that I can you know that make me my skill like up another level. Yes. That's a very nice perspective because you started out being a a uh, photographer that's not in the cosplay scene and then you step in and then you see how uh, fo uh, cosplay photos are taken and you implement your skill into it, that's amazing. Then can I ask you, oh we are shifting, hello guys, hello guys. So we are having some housekeeping right here, we are shifting the stage closer so everyone can have a closer distance, hello guys, hello. So later we will have a look at this session as well. So you guys know 
of users, which is totally understandable. What are your future plans, your future direction? Can you share with us more? Okay, so to be really honest, you know, when I started cosplaying, right, I actually make my own costumes. But uh, along the years, I stopped doing that. Yeah, so back then, my cosplay, for, uh, my passion for cosplay, I show through creating my own cosplays. I believe you know that as well. Yes, yes, yes. I've seen all your stuff. In fact, back then on Blogspot, yeah, you yeah. post a uh, sewing tutorial. Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, tips and tricks on how to sew. That's a those, those days. Yeah, those days. Yeah. So, I can't even do our situation. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, Blogspot, you know. Blogspot, oh my god. Oh my god. making cosplays and then uh, I get invited to countries uh, to do like workshop for sewing uh, to share my knowledge and then um, during pandemic I sort of stopped yeah and then uh, also because I have more pets yeah so last time I used to have like one or two pets so I'm able to do costumes but after I have eight and then now ten it's quite hard um, and also because during pandemic, I met him. Yeah, I met him and uh, I shifted my passion from making cosplays to creating photo shoot. Yeah, so last time I do costumes, I go for events, but I rarely do photo shoot. But then now because uh, I have him as my photographer, so we can do more photo. Yeah, you can yeah. collaborate and produce more quality work mm -hmm. because you, uh, you both can help each other. Yes. Oh, that's amazing. That's a good direction. All the best to your ventures, okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for sharing it with us too. So Preston, coming back to you. So we are talking about the differences between cosplay photo shoots and then normal photo shoots. Can you tell us more about your... Okay, I've been sneaking around, of course. That's my job. I've been sticking around and then I saw your website about photography. So it has been established since 2011. Can you tell us more, what is photography? What, what's the angle that you're going for when you establish photography? Uh, do you believe that I actually think of the company name, photography when I have, when I went to the toilet for five minutes? <laughs> okay, you know what they say when you go to the toilet, Inspiration comes. Yeah, so I thought about it and I was like, because I like to connect with people. So when my service is connecting people and the people, and last time I went for, I actually arranged for speed dating, you know, like, like I. Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah, so I like to see how people connect to each other, they found their love, you know, I actually quite matched some couples from the, from my work. And you found your love too? Yeah. So you can see me from there, so I was thinking people photography, how can I connect together and so people from TV is born. Okay. Yes. So you combine both people and photography yes. because you want to connect them. So yeah, funny. That's amazing. And any future plans when it comes to people roughly or anything that you're doing in general? I do want to I want to have Insu to join to my company. You know, as oh. two person managed together, maybe something new, mm -hmm. like from what, not what I'm doing now. It's like, uh, maybe you want to have a new business model, or something cosmetic which uh, element into my company. Because right now I'm doing like more commercial stuff. So maybe next time we have something cosplay, I don't know, like academy. Yeah, maybe cosplay team speed dating. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah. Juni will be the first to sign. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I definitely need that. Sorry for calling you out. <laughs> No worries, no worries, I need that, definitely. Sign me up, I'll be your first customer. <laughs> That's amazing, so many plans going on for both of you. So all the best for your ventures, and we can't wait to see what you're going to do. And the audience here, your fans here, they can't wait as well. So please keep us updated, and then we look forward to all your adventures. Thank you, thank you so much. So this concludes our Q&A session. So we are going to go on to something more relaxed. Ah, relaxed. The longest uh, 30 minutes of my life. No worries, no worries. No worries, we make it fun and she's. I mean, I mean, jokes aside, I'm very happy to have you as the MC. Oh, thank you so much. And I'm nervous. And I'm really glad to have you guys on stage with me too. This feels like a very chill session and you're on top. Yeah, it may be longest, but I do enjoy the time with you. I do, I do. Yeah, 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 me too. Okay, so we're gonna have 
since we are having the longest 30 minutes, we're going to make use to it. We'll make use of it. Yeah. Okay, I'm good. So the next session, we are going to have something called a social game session. We're going to, I'm going to ask them a few questions, and then they're going to answer the question, and they're going to tell us why. So the next game you're going to have, it's called this or that. Very straightforward, isn't it? I'm going to ask them, like A or B, like there will be two options. They are going to choose, and then they're going to tell us why. And then this, they call some discord between you two, because if I ask, you know, coffee or tea, one of you may choose coffee, the other choose tea, then you two might be turning to person and ask, hey, I don't know where. So it's best you like coffee. Ah, it's a good way to, you know, know each other better as well. All right, are you guys ready? Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Okay, let me get the questions ready. Testing, one, two, three. Okay, I have a total of 25 questions, but we are not going to go through every one of them. But we are going to go through as much as possible. Ah, so the fans here, the audience, they get to know you better as well. All right, ready? Morning or night? We have to answer both, right? <laughs> you can tell me, you guys can fight amongst yourselves and tell me who wants to tell me first as you can. Morning. Morning. Night. <laughs> okay, first this call, guys. One morning, one night. Why? Because I feel like if we wake up earlier, you know, we can do more stuff. Yeah, so nowadays we uh, go for boxing classes together. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So, yes, just yesterday we woke up at 8. Mm. Yeah, the class was at 9.30. So I feel like we can do, be more productive if we wake up earlier. For me, it's like, I would like to do my work at night, so nobody will disturb me. Oh, I see. That's why I choose night. It's like a very peaceful day for like, the session. So she's a morning person, she's going to drag you at night time to, uh, you are a night person? Ah. So you match. Like, yeah. the daytime will go to you, night time will go to you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it works out. That's great. Okay, next question. Hmm. Superman or Batman? Batman. Superman. Wow, secondary story. <laughs> okay, tell us why. Why Superman? Um, it's like, actually, when I watch the movie Batman, right, I don't really like the character. It's like quite dark. I like something very energized and helping people. Like, the story is like about citizens. So, Superman is like my hero from since I'm young. I like Superman a lot, a lot. So Batman is like, when I watch the movie, I feel like so dark. And it's like, uh, I, I really don't like the style of the making movie making as well. So it's like, you want someone who radiates like sunshine, and then you yeah. use, uh, you do positive as well. Ah, okay. Now we have the contrast with Batman and you. Wow, actually, yeah, I never think so much uh, you know, like, about the like, story. Like, and I like, just like, what's the answer? So winter. Do you guys plan to go any winter countries perhaps for traveling? 
Because you usually back then you used to go to different uh, conventions as well, traveling as well. But I like cold, but I don't really enjoy it if it's too cold. Uh, I mean, I was an exchange student once. I uh, went to Japan during winter. It was too cold. Yeah, it's too very cold. dry, very cold. Yeah, and you have to like, you know, wrap yourself up like a yeah, like a like a like a mummy. <laughs> that's fair. That's very fair assessment. Actually, I prefer spring. But then since you are summer or winter, then maybe summer and winter is winter. winter. But considering, for Japan is a wonderful country, but sometimes for us Malaysian, the weather, you can't get used to it because it's so hot here. Right. So thank you so much. Winter, now I you will bring her to winter countries. Huh? Yeah, we went to like Korea, Japan. So. Oh, that's amazing. That's awesome. We have to wait for the COVID things. Uh, to, yeah, to settle down a bit. And then we will be expecting a lot of pictures from all, from both of you. That's amazing. All right. Rice or bread? All right. Bread. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Rice, Asian rice. Right? There's been so many different. Mm -hmm. And in our real life, there's so many different, like tea, coffee, music, also different. There's nothing that's similar, mm -hmm. actually. That's why when you ask a question, it's like, okay, it must be A or B, A or B, something. It won't be the same. But it's okay because you guys are together. Yeah. Because you guys understand each other and love each other, isn't it? In fact, I'm actually very curious if you don't mind sharing. Just tell us a bit, just a bit. How do you guys meet each other? Ah. Are you going to be honest? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be honest, like, uh, oh, I, I passed away. Uh, it's just, she's actually my neighbor. <laughs> oh! Yeah. This is literally like the Korean romantic comedy drama. Oh, you have a neighbor? And then, oh, the neighbor, I fell in love with. It felt like that. It's like we actually like see each other for quite some time. No, no we didn't see each other. Just know that you stay opposite my door. And sometimes I open the door. It's actually my office. So I open the door and then I see that she comes. I was like quite curious. Who is it? So sometimes I saw like inside the house. It's like why so many many queens? So many cosplays are. And one day I was like, someone asked me, oh, do you know any cosplayer that are doing very well? Then I was like searching for the profile and I saw her. And then, then, then I don't know who is she. Yeah. And then one day, okay, you can continue the story. <laughs> I think you can finish the story. <laughs> so conclusion, you see the name. You know each other as neighbor and then you see each other as neighbors. Yes. And then you see the love. Yeah, and then, then we went to the gym. Oh. We went to the same gym because it's at the same building, right? Mm -hmm. And like we actually quite a tough while. And we start to each know each other. I see. Yeah, then we click and you know, we start the day. So to our dear audience, go to gym, you find your better half. Mm. And then actually it was uh, during the pandemic that we got closer to each other. Huh? You know, during the first uh, lockdown, it was really tough for, I think, I believe everyone. We can't leave our house and then we are very scared of uh, COVID and stuff. So during that time, he took care of me. He tapao for me. Time, you can't even meet our friends. Uh, yeah, but you so all close off. Yeah, you're living in your own house. And then I was living alone. Yeah, so he really like supported me like mentally. Like. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. And I hope you both go on further and further with your love trip. Yeah, I never know one day I'll be having a cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> life, life just goes at you. You know, life just goes and you didn't know. You know? That's life. But thank you so much for telling us a little bit about your love story. Thank you so much. I'm going to wrap it up with one last this or that. And then we'll go on to the wild card question. And then we'll conclude the session with one last final question. Is that okay? Uh, 30 minutes, I know, but we, we're going to finish it. And then let everyone here understand you better. So, one last question. you got to make it worth it, isn't it? Okay, Digimon or Pokemon? Digimon. Pokemon. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, at least you guys have one thing in the country, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna ask you, why Digimon? Uh, I watched Digimon as my first anime. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, then after that, Yu-Gi-Oh. Mm -hmm. So, then after that, I never watched Pokemon anymore. I don't know why, like, so many mm -hmm. I just like the transformation of 
the Digimon and all. It's most my childhood. That's why I like. I like it. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a very popular childhood series, and then you feel the nostalgia. You are seeing as my brothers. My brothers love Digimon, so I think it's a guy thing actually. Like guys love Pokemon. Actually, I like Digimon also, but it's just that I like Pokemon more. Oh, cause it's cuter. Mm -hmm. No, because it was my first game. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got bought the book. You know, last time don't have internet, uh, right? So to be able to collect all the Pokemon and where the Pokemon are and just what to go or whatever items, you need this book. <laughs> See, I don't memorize. Memorize which uh, Pokemon? Oh, oh there's so many of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now forgot already. It's alright, it's alright. <laughs> Memories in this place. Okay, so. Dear audience and fans of Yinzi, you know now Pokemon. Ah, Pokemon plushies. Ah. So thank you so much for telling us all these things. And now you understand each other better. And our audience and our fans here understand both of you better. Thank you so much. And we're gonna go on to our wild card question. Ha, ah, it's the same one as Hakan's question, but I'm gonna create some chaos and trouble between you two. I'm gonna Make you guys fight with each other. So imagine this scenario. You are now in a shonen anime and you're gonna go fight each other. Uh, you guys are enemies. Uh. You guys are gonna fight. One of you villain, one of you hero, you're gonna fight each other. You get to choose three characters with you. Any character. The one from DC Marvel, anime manga, you want Pokemon, Digimon, everything. You can choose three characters. Who will you choose? One. You go first. <laughs> you go first. Because my wife will not win you one. So wow, so confident, so I like so it. So I will win you one. <laughs> ah, three characters. Um, the first one would be uh, Gojo. Ah. Uh, Jujutsu Gojo. And uh, Nanami. And also, I think Tanjiro. Wow. Yeah. All very shonen characters. Is there any reason? Is it because they're very handsome? So that's why you choose? Um, I feel like they are like, in mentally they are very strong. Ah. So they can be anything. That's why they have a lot of So they can support you mentally and then physically as well. But some of them are very well, like Gojo. Yep, you're right. right. Okay, that's amazing. What about you, Izzy? The boss is him, right? Yeah, just being like 1,000 cockroach up from the moon. <laughs>
supporting me and also I'm now supporting uh, Preston as well because um, I know that you know uh, maybe a lot of like cosplayers they usually don't reveal that they have a boyfriend yeah because they are afraid that um, they have less support but then um, as for me I'm very lucky to actually have um, really good followers and uh, friends who are even they come to event to see him you know they will like or they are queuing for my book then they will be like uh you can have a photo yes and after that they will like can i have like another one with like person as well so i think it was really sweet and um i'm thinking that the mindset has changed you know so um i'm really grateful to have uh, all your support